Is the Chinese national who infiltrated President Trump's Mar-a-Lago resort a spy? Prosecutors have not made that leap yet, but in court today, prosecutors did reveal a mountain of evidence on the security threat she poses. Among the items in her possession, a thumb drive carrying malware that can be installed without even being plugged in. CBS 4's Joan Murray is live outside the courthouse in West Palm Beach with more. Joan. And that very unusual spyware was discussed here in open court. This hearing lasted about three hours today. Nothing was decided, but we did get more of an understanding why this woman says she was on Palm Beach over a week ago. Listening through a Mandarin interpreter, Yujing Zhang sat stoically as prosecutors told a judge she was a flight risk and should not be released on bond. She lies to everyone she encounters, said federal prosecutor Rolando Garcia. The result is they were able to get her, and she's now suffering the consequences of whatever it is she had in mind. But On March 30th, the Secret Service said Zhang showed up at President Trump's Mar-a-Lago club while he was golfing. First said she was going to the pool with no bathing suit. Later, she was there to attend a Chinese-American event. They say she had four cell phones, a laptop external hard drive, and thumb drive with malware. A Secret Service agent told the judge the malware began to install automatically onto an agent's computer, something out of the ordinary. And federal prosecutors revealed when investigators searched Zhang's hotel room at the upscale Colony Hotel on Palm Beach, they found over $8,000 in U.S. and Chinese currency, a cell phone, a signal detector to check for hidden cameras, credit cards, nine thumb drives, and five SIM cards. This instance was sort of a perfect storm where she lied her way past multiple checkpoints. Zhang's defense lawyer told the judge she's no spy and indicated the whole incident is a misunderstanding. There was a language barrier, and Zhang was in the U.S. on a valid passport and visa. And he said she wired $20,000 to a man she met online to attend an event for the United Nations Chinese Friendship Association to meet members of the president's family and other politicians. So the hearing will continue a week from, from today, at which time Jang is also going to be arraigned. Her defense attorney said that he's going to have evidence to show why she's not a flight risk, that she does have somewhere to stay if she is released on bond. Her visa, meanwhile, has been revoked. In West Palm Beach, Joan Murray, CBS 4 News.